Hello and welcome yourself and everyone in the whole universe that you know to Heavenly Album Covers. And I was over at our favorite nearby thrift store, which has been there for about half a century. And this thrift store usually has either very, very good albums or very, very bad albums or no albums at all. Today they had um, some so-so albums, but then there were maybe a hundred old early 1990s and late 1980s 12-inch singles, which I normally avoid. I don't like looking through 12-inch singles. They're very uninteresting for the most part, and they're hard to decipher their intrinsic worth, and I just can't be bothered. But today, the 12 inch singles that I saw at the nearby thrift store looked really good. So I first I sorted through the hundred of the 12 inch singles, then I narrowed it down to about 40 and I took those over and I sat in a chair and I sorted through those. I had a reject pile, a maybe pile and a keep pile. And I ended up with nine keepers, including this 12 inch single by Soho. Soho were and probably still are a um, trio, two twin sisters and a, a guy that does a lot of the music. Hippie Chick was based on a sample of the Smiths, How Soon Is Now. And this is a great single, really catchy, really good. The vocals are awesome. This uh, single cover is just very flower power and psychedelic. And there are the ladies on the back, and they're posing on some huge letters. It's a real cool single, which is why I bought it. And uh, the uh, label is pretty simple. It's on Atco. So that's Hippie Chick by Soho. I also picked up this uh, DJ use only single. It's called the... Uh, Real DJ Delights, and the song is called Give Me a Good Beat, and uh, looks like it's just for DJs to sample and scratch. And the flip side is Feel the Sexual Healing and What's Going On. This came out in 1991. It's a white label kind of thing or a white label slipcase kind of thing. Here's a 12 inch on Zix Records with um, I Love Zix logo graphics all over it, the record case, the record slip case. And this is by McQuell Brown. The song is Close to Perfection. And the flip side is, I think it's called Close to Imperfection, but the flip side is Close to Perfection, the vocal version. The flip side is the instrumental version. Next up is the Tom Tom Club. And this is Genius of Love, a great song. Um, I used to live in a place where I heard Genius of Love practically every day, booming from someone's car or cars that would drive by down the street past where I lived. And um, it was pretty incredible. This, this was way after the song was a hit, and yet people were still um, blaring Genius of Love out of their cars in my neighborhood. And the flip side is by a group or a person named Yella. Looks like it's um, maybe a pseudonym for uh, the Tom Tom Club. Song is Mr. Yellow, I think. I'm confused. This next 12 inch is uh, kind of a sampler or something. Great cover. It's got like silver lightning bolts and white and laminated orange. And it's an X mix, issue six, 1992, with Thriller, Sesame's Treat. That was a big hit. And uh, We All Need Love, even better than the real thing, which is some sort of U2 remix. And that's real exciting. I had to pick that up. This next 12 inches by Betty Boo, Where Are You Baby? I had seen this uh, cover or a similar cover on small CD uh, in jewel cases, but it's um, really neat blown up. 
it's a nice cover. It's very 90s. And there's the back. Where are you, baby? Booze boogie. And it's kind of an outer space, lost in space kind of thing. And let's look at the label. It's kind of a black and white gray thing on uh, Rhythm King Records, Rough Trade, or I call it RT Records. And this 12 inch is called Warning! Exclamation point by Adiva. And there's apparently Adiva all done up, all made up, uh, ready to take action and to conquer the world. This is mostly all uh, grayscale, but there are these little hints of pink just in, in this eye here. Um, it's really clever how they did that. Um, no one would notice unless they had the album really up close to a camera. And this is a diva's label here. It's on uh, Smack Music. And the song is Warning. There's all sorts of mixes. I think even on the other side, there's more mixes. There's one additional song called Love to See You Dancing. People love to dance. People dance all over the world to different kinds of music. They just dance. People love to dance. When they are born, they dance. Before they die, they dance. In the middle, they dance. This is a 12 inch by Mato Grosso called Neverland, or maybe the group is Neverland. And the song is Mato Grosso. It's got a big yellow sticker that resembles a cigarette pack or um, something. And it's, um really stark. I like this matte finish. It really uh, goes well with the red and white and gray label here. And last, but last, and very not least, is an album by Trenier. Trenier recorded a lot of albums, and this is a, a great album cover. It's very late 80s. This came out in 86. And um, this is just a uh, uh, prototypical um, late 80s uh, woman power record cover, album cover. This um, reminds me of uh, the band Climax or maybe Tina Marie, Sheila E. Um, the, the music on here is very electro boogie. A lot of uh, syndromes and synths and uh, electro beats and stuff. It's a great album and a great album cover. She's got kind of a um, kind of a uniform. It's like a dancing uniform, and her hair is all airbrushed, and it's really good. The um, flip side is nice too. It's all got more airbrushing. It has cursive fonts here. Let me get the light up. All the fonts are in cursive, which are hard to read. But she had a fan club here, and. Um, she put out a lot of albums, and I think she still sings. She's still around. I had never heard of her till I picked this up. And I think uh, she looks like she was out of uh, Miami, Florida. So it's got a lot of uh, great things about it. So let's look at the label real quick. It's on Jam Packed Records, I believe, out of Miami. And it her name is Trenier. And the music's great. And so the uh, loose shrink wrap off of, off of some of those records, just silver records in the late 80s and 